Hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. They seen a the hunt, they seen a the foe. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You supposed to be this close to me, and hopefully you understand G.O.D. Maybe this cold and I'm talking like no degrees. They seen a fluke, I seen it way before it ever happened. He gave me the view. I had to put in my time for the TV, it coming in soon. I couldn't leave without love to a variant or an experience. You gotta get up and do what it do. So complicated, that homie is you. Always gonna wait until you in the mood. I been running, came out gunning, stopped the fight on your word. It's what you hear, not what you heard. I'ma hang on every verb. I'ma show you. Alright y'all, I've been on the hunt for New Balance like those like grandpa dad shoes and I cannot find them anywhere in my size. I tried everywhere in the Sawgrass Mall, online, everywhere. Okay, you know I had to get a donut. So I have this pretty cool donut. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of the place I got it from, but it's in the Sawgrass Mall. Honestly, El Camino was my favorite restaurant when I lived here. Their happy hour is amazing, so I had to check it out. It was the first place I went when I got to South Florida. Got a passion fruit margarita and their brisket quesadilla. Amazing. We came to a random gay bar that we don't know. It's called Mona's. So let's let's see if it's a hit or a miss. Okay, so it says two valid forms of ID, but I only have my ID and my debit card. My debit card matches. And I went out last night. Oh my god, I'm like hungover. Coffee. I really suck at like vlogging YouTube's, but I'm gonna try to be better today. I have no idea what we're doing, but I. I don't think I'm drinking. But my outfit is... So I got so drunk last night that I truly don't know how I'm alive. Um, I essentially just like stayed up until like 7 in the morning. And I just like was up until I was sober, I think. And then I went to bed and then I woke up at like 11. So I went to bed at like 7 in the morning. And then I woke up at 11, still drunk. So, anyways. Sunday night I went to Runa's Peruvian Cuisine in Hollywood, Florida and it was amazing but I went with some dear friends of mine so I only got a picture of this amazing ceviche 10 out of 10. There is something so unbelievably healing 
and magical about being in the ocean and touching the warm sand and i always have like such a humbling beautiful experience whenever i am by a beach like this because washington does not have beaches like this and if there are i don't know about them so we left the beach and we're gonna eat at ocean 13 and have a drink and it's so beautiful here well there's cars there but you get the point Love, you just wanna fuck, fuck out a little vacation. Took it till we naked, took it with our tongue, tongue, tongues. We just have it, we just have it, fun, fun, fun. We just have it. Okay, so after we left the beach and Ocean's 13, we decided we wanted to go to the pool. And then we hung out there for a bit until the sun started to set. And then we decided to go shopping and ended up at H&M so I could find some swimsuits for when I go to Mexico next month. Then we decided to go to this bento Asian kitchen and sushi. And it was like chipotle style but for poke bowls and sushi. So I got a poke bowl and some miso soup with a diet soda to finish off my last night here. On my last night there, my friends and I had a little charcuterie board moment and we watched Black Panther because I want to see Wakanda forever and I'd never seen Black Panther and it was amazing. All right, I'm in the Miami airport. I passed security. Gotta find coffee. You already know I scouted out the Starbucks, right? Like, obviously. And the food options were looking grim, so I got Nathan's and I got this chicken Caesar wrap and it was honestly pretty good. It was all right. All right, so I did a lot of reading on this trip, which I love, and this is just me chilling at the airport waiting, and y'all, I had a middle seat on both of my flights back home to Seattle. How terrible, but I did get airport sushi, and I'm just like, little Carmen would be screaming because she would have never thought she'd be able to order like Pellegrino and fucking airport sushi while traveling, like i feel like this is my peak it's the small things y'all and then i had another coffee which honestly was one of the worst coffees i've ever had but i did still drink it i arrived in seattle safely and then my friends and i and my wife we all went to get pho which was amazing so thanks for watching